by the end of this video, you will be able to add some awesome Loti animations like these into your own Flutter app in no time. So go to the lotifiles.com website where you can find thousands of free animations and also a marketplace to buy and sell one. For this tutorial, uh, we will be using the searching for Wi-Fi animation by Mithul Gajjar. And also we will be seeing an awesome loading animation by the end. So stay tuned for that. So let's get started. Firstly, to integrate all the Loti animation, we need this Loti package. So to add it, I will copy this command and run it from my VS Code terminal. And once the command is executed successfully, we will remove this default theme data. And inside home, we will remove this and pass a new home screen widget, which we will create in just a second. But before that, let's remove this my home page widget as it is of no use. And then we are going to create a new home screen dot file and inside it create a new stateful widget named home screen and import our packages and also import the home screen from rain dot file. And now is the time to add the Loti animation. Now open the animation page which you like to add. By the way, you can find this animation link down in the description. Then scroll down a bit and in the right side you will find the Loti animation URL. Click copy. If you are unable to locate this option, then please make sure that you are signed in. Otherwise, you won't be able to download or copy the animation URL. Now inside the home screen, replace this container with a scaffold. Then give it a body of center widget and then a child of loti.network and paste the animation URL that we just copied inside it. And now when we save it, we see the animation. And with just few lines of code, we made it happen. Now in order to change its width, just pass a width property and give it a desired value and it will update accordingly. And in case you don't want to animate the loading animation, then just add the animate property and pass a value of false. And as for the loading animation, we will be using this beautiful drop effect loading animation by David. And this time we will use the animation directly from the application. So click on the download and get the loti json file. And in the pop-up window, make sure to change the name to loading and save the file. Now create an asset folder and move the downloaded json file inside it. And then in pubspec.yml file and there we will comment out the asset section and add the path to the asset folder with the loti animation file. Then in the home screen file, instead of using loti.network, we will replace it with loti.acid. There, pass the path to the animation JSON file, which in our case is inside the acid folder. Now, when we save this, we see a loading animation. Now, lastly, let's see how to control this animation using animation controller. To use the animation controller, we have to extend the state class with single ticker provider state mixing. Then create a late initializable animation controller. And then inside the init state, initialize the controller to a new animation controller and add vsync to this class and give it a duration of 750 milliseconds and don't forget to dispose the controller. And down here in the loti.acid, add the controller property and in on loaded callback where we get a composition argument which have some basic details about the animation like duration which we can then use to change the controller duration and then we will call controller.forward to start the animation. And then when we hot restart the application, and then we see the same animation. But this time we have a bit of control over it. To demonstrate this, we will show a text widget when the animation gets completed. So first, let's create a new boolean variable is loaded as this is a loading animation and assign it to false. And then inside the init state, we will add a status listener to our controller and inside it we will check if the status is equal to animation status dot completed and if so then we will update the is loaded variable to true inside set state and down here inside the center widget we will check that if is loaded is true then show a text widget otherwise show the loading animation and now when we hot restart the application and wait for the animation to complete 
we see the text message animation completed and that's all you need to know to make most out of Lottie animation. Make sure to check the description for the source code and go to the Lottie website to explore the thousands of free animation and have some fun integrating them in your app. Thank you.